There is nothing that a truck can't do. In the previous episodes, we have already seen trucks that carry shipments, help the environment and even become a living space. But the time is ripe for even more excitement. Because today we will show you a truck that transforms into a sports workshop while being an extreme sport truck itself. So welcome to this special episode, the MAN Quick Stop Hydro Drive. We are here in the Chiemgau Arena in Ruhpolding and we're gonna get to know this truck here a bit better that transforms also into a sports workshop. So let's learn how it works so we can prepare to have a mini sports event here. Hello Marion, how are you? Hi, I'm fine, thank you and you? I'm totally fine and I'm totally excited about this truck. For what kind of sport do you use it? We use it for biathlon. And you are a professional biathlete? Yes, I'm a professional biathlete of the German ski team. This is awesome. Tell me about your daily business. My daily business is a lot of sports, a lot of training, but it depends on summer. We train a lot. It's um, two times training a day, six days a week. So we have only one day off. And in winter, it's all about racing and relaxing, but most of it racing. <laughs> yes, and your truck is always there for you, right? Yes, uh, the truck is a member of our team and it follows us around to the competitions. Do you travel a lot with this truck? Yes, we travel a lot uh, during winter. The races are all over in Europe, also Scandinavia, and you know, we are in Norway, Sweden, Finland, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, a lot of um, uh, different countries. And this is a really big truck for a really big team? Yes, we are 12 athletes and a lot of other people who will help us to get the best out of us. Okay. And being a biathlete means skiing all day. Yeah, it's skiing and shooting. So it combines two different sports. It's the fast skiing and the concentration at the shooting range and the focus on shooting. So mm -hmm. it's kind of really interesting because it combines two opposite sports, mm -hmm. skiing and shooting. How did you start? I started uh, first of all with cross-country skiing when I was 10 years old. It was all uh, my dad's idea or my idea, but my dad helped me because he knows a cross-country coach and he asked to uh, get some equipment for me and then my dad built a track for me behind my house, so it's Ooh. skiing in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how it started and today you are a professional biathlete and uh, I think you love your job, right? Yes, I really love it. You can't compare it to uh, other jobs because every day is different and also in winter the races, it's so nice because you can have good races but also bad races, so it's a lot about emotions. And part of your competition is always this truck behind us. So how do you use it during a competition? We use it um, before the races to prepare our skis, but yeah, let me show you how it works. Come on. Oh, yes. Good idea. <laughs> Perfect. So, Maxi, this is Mark, our wax guy. Mark, Maxi, I'm so happy that he's here because he helped us athletes a lot. Yeah, I guess those craft people are very important because I'm here for the athletes to get the perfect skis for every race. I always thought snow is snow, but are there really different snow conditions? Yes, every day there are other conditions, so one day is not like the other. The snow can get very uh, wet. Also, there are some differences if the snow is very thick and you can also have snow which is very uh, dry and very thin particles. Yeah, that's very important which, which wax you put on it. And which snow conditions are your favorites? When it's cold, but not too cold. I think it's about zero to minus five degrees. And when the snow is really hard, because then it's really fast. 
How many ski do you prepare on a usual event day? So when there are women and men at one day, we have six athletes per gender. So in total it's 12. And how long does it take to prepare one pair of ski until it's ready? Usually it's 15 minutes. So it's very important that the athletes get uh, the skis in time to the truck so I can prepare them before the race starts for them. And you know what? I would love to see you yeah. at work. Yeah, I can show you if you want to. Perfect. Yeah, great. <laughs> so I put the ski on it and fix it with this device. So you put the wax on it like this. There are many different types of waxes, but for this ski we just use ground wax for it. So now the ski is soaked with wax. You have to put it outside so it's getting cold and the wax is um, getting hard. Yeah, after that you have these two brushes. At first the black one, so you brush the wax um, from the ski. After that you go with the blue one just to polish the ski and yeah, that's it. That was exciting inside. Really, it was. So, what else do you use this truck for? Oh, yeah. After a really good race, when someone got the podium, we have a little party inside, but just a little one. And the wax guys have some beer or so. That's always a lot of fun. Not that bad at all. It seems quite convenient to have such a truck right side at a competition, right? Yeah, of course. But I think I want to go skiing. Should we have a competition? We oui. Against each other? Yeah, maybe, or I can show you how to ski. For telling the truth, it's been a while, but, but I would love to later on, because first of all, I would love to hear more about the truck itself, its technologies, its features. So let's talk to an Amayan expert. See you later. Yeah, see you okay. later. <laughs> so hi, David. Hi, Maxi. Thanks so much for giving me some input about uh, this amazing truck. Mm -hmm. First of all, what does hydro drive mean? The hydro drive is a hydraulic uh, front driven axle. Um, so it is a traction aid for um, special grounds when it gets slippery. So you have more safety there. So it makes totally sense to have it here on the snowy ground. Exactly. Why do the athletes need this truck? Yeah, of course, their, um, their equipment needs to be transported in the winter time. So there you have very slippery grounds and with snow and ice like here. So you can switch it on when you're on site like here. So it's the perfect application for our hydro drive. It sounds super comfortable. Even though we have uh, all the generation of our um, M9TGX here, with a with a new truck generation with a totally new interior you really only have to twist the wheel and then you're ready to go because you can switch on the hydro drive while you're driving also so you do not to stop and be in the situation you can do that before and um, it automatically switches off when you drive 28 kilometers so it's a very very easy and comfortable um, system here it really sounds easy it is to drive under difficult conditions right it is easier yeah mm -hmm. difficult conditions are always tricky and you need to have a professional driver but it's much easier for the driver i really would love to get more information about the technical side of this amazing truck would you like to show it i can do that and i think the perfect place is right at the truck so let's go over there yes okay, <laughs> okay. perfect let me tell you about the technology this is where the magic happens the driver switches on the hydro drive the hydraulic pump pushes up the pressure up to 420 bars and through the linings um, the hydraulic power of 14,500 newton meter comes into the front axle and then you can really drive on very safely on slippery ground. Sounds great. But anyway, I have to ask, what is better, hydro drive or classical all-wheel drive? Okay, I have a very clear answer here for you. It de really depends. Yeah. <laughs> there are situations where the hydro drive or applications where the hydro drive is the better solution. But for really heavy duty off-road transportations on gravel sites or other uh, examples, there you need a permanent all-wheel drive and there the all-wheel mechanical drive is the better solution. So out of our portfolio, the customer really can choose what is the best for his solution. So how would it be to drive this truck without hydro drive? Um, even though we do not really have a, a steep slope here, you would get stuck, basically. You don't have the weight on the rear axle, on the driven axle, where you need it to have traction. So you get stuck and then there's no opportunity then just 
being towed out of it. Then you messed and up. <laughs> exactly, you totally <laughs> messed up. But with the hydro drive, you can switch it on and then you can free yourself out of the situation. Sounds way cooler. It is. Tell me, who came up with this idea? <laughs> well, MAN invented the hydro drive in 2005, um, so many years ago. We had a lot of uh, experiences here. So we can really offer today a very reliable system for all the different um, applications uh, our customers really need. Yeah. What are typical applications? Applications apart from this on snow. Um, the hydro drive um, you can find, for example, on uh, construction sites for uh, tipper trailer um, combinations or uh, concrete mixers, um, so basically everywhere where you are on the muddy, gravelly, slippery ground, you can use it really good for a very efficient traction system. So it sounds so easy to drive under difficult conditions, right? Yeah, it is easy to drive. Um, that is the one part of the efficiency. Yeah, uh, And the other part, of course, is that you have some advantages when you really need the traction. You can switch it on without any more weight, only a couple of hundred kilos. It's heavier than a standard rear driven uh, vehicle. So we have a very efficient way to drive uh, with a traction system. And um, of course, that is an advantage regarding payload and fuel efficiency also, because if you have to switch it off on the regular ground, you can drive with almost no real uh, disadvantages in fuel uh, consumption. So less fuel consumption. This is another benefit, exactly, I think. Yeah. Are there any more? Yeah, I was talking about the weight. So mm -hmm. uh, mechanical all-wheel drive has, of course, mechanical components. Exactly. They're heavier, yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's, uh, there's a weight advantage. Mm -hmm. Driving um, safety? Driving safety is, uh, is of course, uh, one of the advantages. And then, as we said before, the fuel consumption. Thank you so much for giving me uh, this overview about this amazing technology. Yeah, you're welcome, uh, yeah. I would love to drive it, but anyway, there's one thing that I also would love to do, skiing. Skiing, yes. okay. See you later, I okay. got skiing. Yeah, then have fun there. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm back in this beautiful surrounding together with you and I'm ready to learn. So please tell me, how do you put the skis on? Oh, it's really easy. Just get on the bindings and then you click inside. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Let's go on a competition. Yeah, of course. Okay. So, but wait. If you have any questions about the MAN Hydro Drive, let us know in the comments below. And if you have ever seen the truck on a biathlon event and took a picture of it, then send us the picture with the hashtag MAN Moments. So thanks so much for tuning into this special episode. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to like it. So let's go on a competition. I go first. Go on. <laughs> Woo! Okay.